welcome to Christmas Eve at First Presbyterian Church in Roseburg, Oregon. You may want to have Advent candles nearby or a Christ candle for later in the service. And then I invite us all to settle in, to take a deep breath, and to remember that God is with us. Even though the ways we are gathering and celebrating this year are different, the story is the same. So I invite us to gather with open hearts to wonder and remember. This night, we light the candles of hope, of love, of joy, and peace. As we come together, may we set aside our own busyness, the worries on our hearts, the preparations we still need to make, the last minute projects. Gently let them go for now so that our focus and awareness may turn to hear about God's busyness, about all that God has done for us. God's love for the world is what we have come to celebrate and remember this night. Let us recall God's blessing of humanity at the beginning of time when God created and called that creation good. Let us reflect on God's promises to bring salvation, healing, and peace to our world. And as the story unfolds, may our hearts be filled with hope and praise as the wonder of God's love is revealed through the scriptures and the songs of the season echo the song of the angels. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, peace and goodwill to all. Join me in prayer. Holy God, as we come to you this night, lifting the joys and concerns of our hearts into your care, we pray that those in need of your love will sense your presence. And we ask that you would guide us by your spirit to hear your word and respond with our lives to your glory and honor and praise. Amen.
Genesis 1, 26 through 28, and 5, 1b to 2. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and ev over every living thing that moves upon the earth. When God created humankind, he made them in the likeness of God. Male and female, he created them, and he blessed them and named them humankind when they were created. Genesis 3, verses 1 through 10. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God say that you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the tree in the garden, but God said you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was desirous to make man wise, she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself.
This is a reading from Isaiah 9, 2, 6 to 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 through 4 and 6 through 9. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the child, and the calf with the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. A reading from Luke chapter 1, starting at verse 26. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God, for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7, the birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. And the 
the soul felt its worth, a thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. There were some shepherds living in the same part of the country, keeping guard throughout the night over their flock in the open fields. Suddenly an angel of the Lord stood by their side. The splendor of the Lord blazed around them, and they were terror-stricken. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, listen. I bring you very glorious news of great joy, which is for all the people. This very day, in David's town, a saviour has been born for you. He is Christ the Lord. Let this prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped up and lying in a manger. And in a flash there appeared with the angel a vast host of the armies of heaven, praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, peace upon earth among men of good will. When the angels left them and went back into heaven, the shepherds said to each other, now let us go straight to Bethlehem and see this thing which the Lord has made known to us. So they came as fast as they could, and they found Mary and Joseph, and the baby, lying in the manger. And when they had seen this sight, they told everybody what had been said to them about the little child. And those who heard them were amazed at what the shepherds said. But Mary treasured all these things, and turned them over in her mind. The shepherds went back to work, glorifying and praising God for everything that they had heard and seen, which had happened just as they had been told. John 1, verses 1 through 5 and 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of the people, of all the people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory and the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth.
The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all. Glory to God in the highest. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Glory to God in the highest. For a child has been born to us, a son has been given to us. Glory to God in the highest. He is wonderful counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Glory to God in the highest. The loving kindness of the Lord our God, the grace of Jesus Christ our Savior, and the renewing power of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Go and tell this good news of great joy. To us, a Savior is born. 